Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm doing my what sold for last week, Monday through Thursday, which would be the 8th through the 11th. Y'all, I'm taking a spanking on eBay, well, and all of the platforms because we took a week off. I had grand intentions of listing and ending and doing sales similar and cross-listing. None of it happened, so everything just sat un unattended for a week, and I can't, I can't make sales. Just, it's very, very slow right now. Gotta pay my penance, right? Pay the penance. Um, but I did have some sales leading up to, and really like the first day of our vacation, and then after that it just went downhill quickly. Um, but before we get to that, um, I wanted to just thank everybody for their support. You know, I, I love what I'm doing here and it just makes me feel so good when people support my channel. So I wanted to thank Deborah for the buy me a coffee that she sent to me last week. Um, you know, I always talk about, you know, all the things that you can do to support me. Um, and buy me a coffee is one of those things you can do to support your content creators. Um, I also want to thank Kimberly for the super sticker she sent me in a comment on YouTube. Biggest thing that you can do to support our channels is to subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed and you want to continue watching my videos, please do that. You know, do the like on each of my videos. Make comments, even if it's just an emoji. That helps so much. I do have links down in my descriptions to um, just different things that you can do. Um, Mavely is our newest one. It's actually Walmart. Um, if you go in there and you do any of your shopping through Walmart, I get a small commission if you purchase anything on there for the next 24 hours. There's other links to other platforms, including eBay, that um, the same thing happens for the next 24 hours. I get a small commission. You know, I have... Um, Referral codes for Worth Point, List Perfectly, which I love, American Bubble Boy, which I love, um, and Hall Sell. So if you're interested in any of that, just go use my links, and I, I appreciate all of this. But let's get to the let's get to the show, right? I had one sell on Poshmark right before we left, right before I turned all of them off. I wish there was a way that we could put them on vacation, kind of like we do on eBay, where you could still make sales, but you would have it all extended out. Um, your shipping and, you know, your deliver your shipping would be extended out to the date that you would be back, but it doesn't work that way. Um, so I did sell this Wish Pets Jolene Turtle for $15 on Poshmark, but everything else is eBay. Now on eBay, I messed up. Well, it was a test. I decided I was not going to use Time Away. I had lots of issues using Time Away last time, and I had intended to, to do the end and sell similar and to keep listing, which none of that happened. Um, but, yeah. I sent daily messages to anybody who purchased, but I still got the messages of, when are you going to ship? Um, I think at least with time away, there's the banner that tells them you're out of town and you will be shipping on this, you know, this particular date. Um, I had to do a couple of reminders that I wasn't shipping until the set date. Um, but nobody canceled, which is a good thing. Um, so eh, maybe next time I'll do time away. I don't know. Anybody got any thoughts on either extended handling or time away what has worked better for you if you want to continue to work you know I don't know I don't know because my sales took a hit because nobody wants to wait you know seven days six days five days so I don't know first thing is this Walmart bear plush with the Valentine heart it sold for $14.95 Hollister women's jeans. Um, Y'all, I've been taking pretty much any reasonable offers right now, just trying to get the algorithm happy with me. Um, 
Robert and I decided we're going to put a, co a date in all of my custom SKUs for every single item listed in my store. And right now we're going to be using for anything that was listed before January, just using um, 2212. And then I'm going to start like quarterly, start marking stuff down, um, trying to get some of the older stuff moving. You know, I, I, gone are the days of listed and forget it for me. I've got to get inventory moving. So that's just, that's just the deal. Um, but these Hollister women's jeans sold for $10.25. And if you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So the buyer did pay additional for shipping. Taggies Blue Lion Plush by Mary Meyer sold for $12.51. Make sure if you're selling plush that have these little ribbon tags on it that it is Taggy's brand if you're going to use the word Taggy's. Otherwise, you just need to use the word tags. Now, these next two orders was from one buyer. She went through my um, curriculum. I don't have a whole lot left. I sold a bunch of it. It's that time of year. School is ending and parents are starting to plan for the next school year. Um, but she bought this lot of Bob Jones University um, books for $10.84. And then she bought these three sets for $25.22. I used to be a teacher a long time ago, and I just have totes and totes and totes of... A lot of it is like just informational type, not really curriculum. Um, that's why if you see there, I have that mailbox teacher tips book sold for $3. I have tons of that kind of stuff. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll put it in my next yard sale. I'm not sure. Um, you know, it's just, I've got so much. Gund Gundamoles, black and white cat. I had not heard of this series until this plush and then I have found another plush which I shipped today it was a poodle um, so definitely keep your eyes out for Gundamals um, this one sold for a best offer of $30 this is from the large mega estate plush cell plush lot that I picked up recently this is Puffy Dog he's a blockbuster um, special for the movie Something About Mary. It sold for best offer of $12. Now this. I didn't realize that this magic carpet was actually supposed to make noise. There's a little silver button on the bottom. Um, so this buyer had sent me a message asking if it worked. I went and pulled it. Realized that it wasn't working. So she, she made me a reasonable offer, I thought, for this lot because the magic carpet wasn't working. And I, I don't think it was a replaceable battery. There was no way for me to get the top off of where the battery was supposed to be. Um, so I just went ahead and accepted it. I'm sure I paid a couple of dollars for this um, and it sold for $33. Garanimals, I like that brand. Um, this is one of the My First Friends dolls. There's several other, there's some lovies and there's some um, animals that have like rattles in them. Those do quite well. Um, the My First Dolls, not as well, but it is still my bread and butter, and I'll pick them up anytime I find them. This one sold for $8.96. Imaginext, um, I bought a huge bag of what they call blinds. Um, these are the ones that you can go into the department stores, and they're just a single packet, um, and you don't know what's in there. A lot of people figure out either codes or by feeling it what it is. Um, but I bought a huge bag of these for $8 at, I think, one of the consignment sales. And I've just put them in either individual or small lots, and I've sold a ton of them. But these two figures sold for $10.56. Walgreens, love picking up that brand. It just seems to do very well for me. Even though Walgreens is national, I think some of the the plush that they put out that's exclusive to them are just harder to find and not, you know, as out there like if it was Walmart. Um, but this raccoon sold for $22.45. Spark Create Imagine. Love that brand. It's from Walmart. This is um, a dog plush sold for $11.66. 
Walmart again. This is a more vintage um, plush, sold for $14.25. Buttermilk Farm. It says Daisy Bunny. At first I thought this was Bunnies by the Bay, but it's not. It's, I guess, Child to Cherish. Um, never heard of it, but it, doesn't it look like Bunnies by the Bay? Um, it sold for $24. Disney Minnie Mouse Mermaid Plush by Just Play sold for $8.96. Bread and Butter. Now this is Hasbro, um, the Barbie hair, Barbie, yeah, Barber, Barber hairstyle play set. Um, I don't normally um, sell the Play-Doh, the dough itself, um, especially if it's been opened at all. I just tend to throw them away and let parents buy brand new. Um, but make sure, again, I talk about this a couple of times, if you're going to use the word Play-Doh, D-O-H, make sure that it is Hasbro or um, Play School because you will get a Vero for using that. There's other brands that put out molds for dough, um, like Rose Art and just others that can be like generic, um, but don't use the word Play-Doh, D-O-H. This sold for $7.50. This is from the Mega Estate Cell. Um, I bought some Care Bear items there that day. These were three Needlecraft pattern books. I decided to put them together. Um, sold very quickly for $40 best offer. Now this was featured in one of those um, Lost Lovey plush groups. I saw a couple of she at first was initially calling them Puffalumps. This is not Puffalumps. You can only use Puffalumps if it's Fisher Price. Just words of wisdom there. Um, but it is by MTY International. I'm pretty sure this is the same person from that post. Um, she sent me an offer of $29. I did take that chance to go in. There were actually a couple of these that had sold for um, less than what I had mine listed for. So I just decided to go ahead and take her $29 offer. You know, $29 for a plush is better than bread and butter, right? Fisher Price cookie magnet. One day I went and grabbed some stuff out of my, my profit piles back there and uh, just decided to go ahead and list them. There was a whole series of these Fisher Price magnets that were um, came out. I think one was like a piece of cheese. There was the cookie and I think there's another one, but I'm not remembering what it was. I Thought I'll list this for $9.95 as a replacement to the set. Sold almost immediately. $8.96. Carter's Brown Monkey Plush from 2015. Sold for $8.96. Now these I picked up, I think there were four of them, in a baggie at an estate sale. I probably paid $0.50 cents for the bag. I have already sold two. I think, yeah, two of them, um, because I do end and sell similar, the counts get off, but I'm pretty sure I've sold two so far. This one sold for $7.50, but it's a 1988 Hallmark Nativity Lamb that was still inside of its original bags. Now, not a great sell. $5.36. This is a deco pack, which is um, cake toppers, Quasimodo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. This has probably been listed 10 years. Finally gone. Finally gone. But I'm trying to figure out a way to start getting this stuff moving. Moving and being gone. Vintage carnival style brown bear plush. I don't even, it didn't have a manufacturer's on the tag. The head was kind of heavy. It's kind of a little lopsided there. So that's why you see my little finger in there holding the head up. Um, but $22.45. It just takes that person who remembers this from their childhood to um, be looking for it. And that's why I love the vintage plush because there's only so many of these. This is probably from the 60s or 70s, I would think. Um, there's not going to be a whole lot of them left, and especially in a sellable condition. Um, so 
I don't mind having them last, wait, you know, wait for a while to sell them. Lots of legs, dog plush. Um, I'm not sure who the manufacturer is. It must not be on the tag or I would have had it up there. Um, it's been listed a little while too. Sold for $12.51. Kinder Care Bears. Now, some of the Care Bears, um, like the Cousins, do better, but the Bears themselves don't sell for as much unless they are, like, still new in the box. I typically get probably $10 to $15 for them. Um, this one did have some condition issues. Um, sold for $9.75. Disney Stitch Plush 12-inch, $13.45. These are the types of plush that I tend to pick up at the bin, so I'm paying by the pound. This is a Starbucks You Are Here Illinois Coffee Cup, $8.96. When you're doing comps, if you notice a vi uh, video, if you notice like a coffee mug that normally is sold with its box and yours doesn't have the box, it's probably a good idea just to put in your description that there is no box because it never fails, you know, you sell something and you don't even show it with a box and you get that comment back or that message back saying, where's the box? So I t try to remember to put that in my listings. Posters, never, I told Robert, never again unless it's going to sell for like big bucks. Um, but I bought like five or six vintage cute little posters at an estate sale one time probably paid nothing hardly for them and they're they're just a pain they're a pain to ship because you know they don't fit in like the 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 tube inside of your um bubble wrap i saved them they're here somewhere um, but they were too long for that so you ended up having to try to find a box to put them in because you don't want them to get more creased or anything um so they're just a pain. This was the last one, but never again. But this cute little cat poster sold for $8.05. Russ Plus Finest Chocolate Bear, 14 inch, sold for $14.95. A whole lot of bread and butter, not any really big sales. This is Thai Copperfield Brown Plush from 1993 little bit different you know it's 15 inches um eight dollars and 96 cents i don't buy a whole lot of tie but if it's unique and sometimes i'm not even paying attention to the tag and i i'm buying it because it looks vintage or it looks cute and then oogie boogie nightmare before christmas sold for seven dollars best offer all right I hope my sales pick up soon. It's kind of disconcerting to go, you know, 10 days, two weeks with just very few sales, very few. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm listing more than normal right now, trying to bump myself up in the algorithm. I'm taking more offers. You know, I'm running my sale. I'm sending out offers. I'm doing all the things I need to do. It's just I've got to get back in the good graces, I guess, of eBay's algorithm. And hopefully my sales will start picking up again. All right. It's time to get to work. I've got tons, tons of stuff to get listed from our trip. It's so much fun when you have that much stuff that you don't have to go digging through your, your uh, profit piles to find stuff. Bye.